You know, I know Sultan Samji, I think you're still in the room. If you could turn on your camera, we're going to play your message to the world. And I just want to start out by saying we, he, Sultan has sent us his wonderful book that he can tell you about if he turns on his camera, uh, both this incredible book and a graphic novel that is really remarkable for those of you who are interested. And Sultan, are you here? Will you be able to turn on your camera for just a moment? He is here. I saw him. Aha. Yeah, there he is. Wonderful. Thank you for being here, Sultan. Would you tell us more about your book? Turn on your microphone and tell us more about your book before we play your message to the world. Is that okay? Could you spotlight him? I'll spotlight you and have you turn on your microphone. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm all covered up here. It's two degrees and I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Although I have my heater on, but um, yeah. But anyway, it's a, a dull, dull day on the threshold of winter in Vancouver. Can't see the mountains. Okay, hello, hello everybody, nice to be here. My name is Sultan Somji, I'm an ethnographer. I've been working with indigenous peoples of Eastern Africa for 40 years. And um, my, most, my main concern became conflicts from 1990s. And I had been working on material culture and oral traditions. And now and then I started looking more deeply into what are the indigenous concepts means of communication about conflicts. Humiliation, dignity came up a lot because it's all to do with your dignity, your cultural dignity, your cultural being. What is called Utu in, um, in Swahili, uh, Ubuntu in um, South Southern Africa, and, and these are among a lot of um, Bantu languages, which are uh, kind of majority, uh, Africa, south of the Sahara. Uh, you have the Utu cognates, but Utu is also conceptual, has also conceptual concepts like uh, Ancholi among the Acholi and Boto among other languages of uh, Southern Africa, Eastern Africa. So I think Utu, Ubuntu is very much Pan-African. And what does it mean, Utu, Utu, Ubuntu? So my big, my big book here, don't be deterred by the, by the thickness, <laughs> but these are stories of my experiences, which I now, and I put it as a walk, a walk through different ethnic groups. And I use the walking stick. I wonder if I can share the screen here. Um, hey, we have to, I'm sorry, Sultan, maybe you can yeah. share afterwards. We want to play your message. So okay, okay, okay. So so I give you a background to this message. So I so so my my research has been mostly on what are the indigenous traditions, the heritage that is still existing, in spite of colonialism, instead of nationalism and ethno-nationalism where the dominant group diminishes the cultures of other groups, what is remaining and how can we give voice to that? That's my, my message. And okay. that's what the video would be about. Thank you. Thank you, Sultan. Greetings. I acknowledge speaking from the unceded territories of the First Nations, renamed Vancouver on colonization. My name is Sultan Somji. I'm an ethnographer and writer. 
I will be reading from one who dreams is called a prophet in Voices of the Community Peace Museums in Eastern Africa. Illustrations are from the graphic novel Alama's Walk, The Oracle Speaks, and from the Community Peace Museum of the African Child Soldier in South Sudan. What is humiliation in Swahili? Asked little Alama. Humiliation is Tia Aibu, meaning put shame on the other, said his grandfather. Humiliation is Tia Uchungu, meaning put pain on the other. Humiliation is Vunja Heshima, break self respect, make the other feel he is not human, see Biradamu. That is, he is without Utu. Without Utu, he is not Utu, a person. He does not belong to the community, and the community does not belong to him. He is nobody. Little Alama never forgot this word. But what is Utu? Utu means being, mm, being Utu, or simply being human. That means keeping the dignity of nature the community, and most important, the human body. When tormented by humiliation, Alama the warrior could not sleep, for humiliation pursues revenge. Humiliation during conflicts is triple trauma. It breaks the human body, community, and nature. This is the broken human body of the child soldier. He is broken in every part you can think of. This is the community this uprooted from their homes, villages, and destruction of nature. Healing the broken body, community, and nature is reconciliation. This is Atim Onen who drew that picture of the broken body of the child soldier that she has it over here and is talking to a group of child soldiers and they are carry, carrying forward the discussion to the evening at Wango which is a gathering place for, for talking. And this is uh, reconciliation is restoring Utu after triple trauma of conflicts. So here you have the reconciliation ceremony. There's a young man here who's tying green beads on the wrist of another young man. The elder here is holding a branch of a peace tree and he's also holding a peace staff which is made from a peace tree. There's a sacrificial uh, lamb over here and the whole community has gathered to witness. And these are three child, former child soldiers, now adults. They are meeting for to reconcile with their bodies, with nature, with the society. Under the Olvedo tree, they are also holding the leaves of the old willow tree, which is a peace tree. Asantani, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sultan Samji. We put your title, the name of your books, in the chat for everyone to see. Really, thank you for walking the talk of this work in the world for all of us. We're so grateful. 